But first, Meta has launched Threads, the company's new text-based conversation app, and it's definitely creating some buzz. Millions have already signed up for the app, which aims to compete with Twitter. There were some glitches, and some users were annoyed by missing features compared to Twitter. Still, there's lots of excitement right now, but is it enough to bring over enough users? Manisa Danabalan joins us with more on this. Hey, Manisa. Hey, Kelly. The amount of people who signed up seems like a sign that users are looking for an alternative platform to Twitter, which has gone through an, a number of unpopular changes since Elon Musk bought it. It's called Threads. Oh. <laughs> Meta's new app, which is described as a text-based version of Instagram, the company's photo sharing app. Meta says Threads provides a new separate space for real-time updates and public conversations. And let's be honest, it looks a lot like Twitter. Uh, it has a lot of the same functionalities. Um, it has a 500 word limit. Uh, it has a several minute limit on the, on the videos that can be posted on, uh, on the platform. And um, it's a move uh, from uh, Facebook's and Instagram's traditional platform of looking and scrolling through pictures. In less than 24 hours, 30 million people have registered for the app, including 10 million in the first few hours of its launch. To give you some perspective, the fastest program to ever hit 1 million downloads was ChatGPT, and that took five days. So you had uh, threads surpassing that number in hours, and there's still people signing up fast and furiously right now. The biggest advantage is that Instagram users can log in with their existing usernames and follow the same accounts on the new app. It lets you take everyone that you're connected with there and connect with them also on thread. So you instantly start off with lots of people to talk to. And we've seen a lot of other players like uh, Mastodon, like Hive Social, they flared for a little while, lots of people downloaded them and then they kind of faded into obscurity because you couldn't bring your network with you. And for users who've built their followers for years, it's a big deal. It's like all my work can pay off now because now we're on threads. I get to reap the rewards of all my previous work rather than starting from scratch. So. Although experts say the platform has launched well, it isn't perfect. For example, hashtags don't work. There's no direct messaging and posts can't be edited. But the head of Instagram says they're building a list of features they'll be adding in the future. But Meta's new offering has also raised data privacy concerns. Since by default, it collects health information, financial data, location, browsing history and contacts. I think the bar for personal privacy has moved. And while we should always be concerned with any company and especially with Meta, uh, I think the, the truth of the matter is, is nobody wants to be left out. Experts say it's still too early to tell if it'll knock Twitter off the throne. I don't think Threads is ever going to become what Twitter was or is at its peak. Um, but in terms of just straight usage, I think that it will surpass Twitter here um, in a within a couple of months. When Zuckerberg was asked if it'll be bigger than Twitter, he replied on threads saying it'll take some time, but I think there should be a public conversation app with more than 1 billion people on it. Twitter has had the opportunity to do this, but hasn't nailed it. Hopefully we will. According to reports, Twitter is threatening to sue Meta over threats, accusing the social media giant of hiring some of its former employees and copying some of its features. 